All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna go ahead and replace the rotors and brakes on our 2500 HD here. And here's our new brake pads here. They're the fleet. And they're from Napa, here's the part number. And we also got the rotor here in this box and there's the part number for that so all right let's start ripping into this let's get the tire off and see where we're at so i think we're gonna get a new nut for this too that's uh that's trash Man, these things are complete trash. See, and that's why it's important you put never seize on here. Clean that off, put a little never never seize in between there. That way the rim doesn't stick to it. So Yeah, definitely time. And there's not much left on those. And this is all kind of warped, so. All right, let's go ahead and get them off. A little PB blast on them. All right, so I ran out really quick uh, to grab some new lug nuts just because uh, I didn't want the store to close on me if I wasn't gonna finish this in time. And so those are nice new ones I could throw back on there and they're Dorman and there's the part number for those just in case you need them so I'll leave a link in the description for stuff uh, whatever I can and that way you can look at them and order them but <laughs> definitely needed them they uh it's crazy like look at that it was like split right I've never seen that happen before but yeah so, yeah, we got some new ones. Suckers are tight. And what we'll do, we'll check these out, clean them out, check the uh, the rubber uh, around them, clean the pins off, put new uh, anti-seas on there. Yeah. Those definitely are tight. Now that top one, I don't have enough room in there just because where I got the jack right now, but we can take this off. I already got it loosened up. There we go. All 
All right, so let's go ahead and get this rotor off. Oh yeah, look at that. See how bad it was on the back side there. Yeah. And that would explain the uneven wear. And it's probably because um, the bolts in here weren't lubed up and letting it slide the way it should. It was probably binding up rust. And that's why I stress the importance of uh, putting never sees on these suckers. Ah. Rusty. Yeah. Looks like my e brakes are getting a little low there, too. But All right, so we finally got that separated. Everything is so rusted together. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and clean these up.
All right, so we got the new pads on there. Had to put a little lithium grease on there, get that one to slide in, put a new bracket on that one. That one was kind of junk, so the rest are fine. Okay, now that I got that all cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and put some Never Seize on it. That way it slides smoothly. Okay, so that pin's gonna be able to actually slide now. And the rubber boot looks good. So let's get the other one on there. All right, got one in there. Let's go ahead and get this other one. And let's again tighten up these bolts. All right, since this caliper's giving me some trouble, I went ahead and got some new slide pins. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw those in. And here they are. And even comes with a new the stopper on the end of the rubber sleeve there. And pull these old ones out. There's the old ones. There's the new ones. Got the new one on there, and we'll do the same up here. Once again, put some anti C's on this. And 
it's gonna go in there. Some on here. Be able to just tighten this right up. There's one. I'm going to start this one. Much easier. There we go. So what happens when these stick, they'll cause uneven wear and it'll cause your brakes to fail. It won't work right. That's in there. Tighten this up a little. Tighten this one. All right. Now that we got that all set, now we can put the caliper back on. Put our two bolts back in. One at the bottom, one at the top. Everything's all back together now. Let's go ahead and get the tire on here and start on the other side. And we're gonna put a little never season here so we don't have that same trouble we had last time. lug bolts we put on.
All right, let's get on to this next side. So I gotta replace the caliper, and I got a remanufactured one here. And there we go. Part number and everything. So let's go ahead and get this put together. It comes with the hardware and also the copper. Uh, seals uh, for doing the brake line so this pinches down and it won't leak Let's go ahead and get the brake line connected up here.
All right, pump it up. Do it quick, do like five in a row and then hold it. Okay, release, go ahead and do it again. Hold it. Okay, do it again. All right, so now that we got that all back together, let's go ahead and take it for a test spin, see how she does. All right, so she's driving good. Uh, no squeaks or squeals or smoke or anything like that. So it's going good so far. So let's go ahead and test the brakes out here. And uh, you want to do it in increments. You don't just want to slam on your brakes. So. And it stops, so that's a good thing. <laughs> All right. All right, so around the world and back again. Everything feels good, no noises. Hey, Gina. All right, so we're all set here. So once again, we hope you guys like, enjoy, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Say bye, Gina. can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.